What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's dive right into the news. We've got a bunch of stories. First story of the day is about the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. There is an update out right now. Go and grab it. The update doesn't really mention of anything of, that it's updated except for bug fixes and things like that. So if you're having any issues with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, go out there and grab this update. Next up, as you can see from the headline from Mr. Roland Quand, who is talking about Samsung's newest power, uh, battery power bank that's coming out. It's gonna be 10,000 milliamps and it's gonna have super fast charging, AKA 25 watt max output. Color will be beige likely giving us an impression of what the beige color on the S23 Ultra is going to look like. And it does come with a USB-C charging cable as well. Looks like it has two USB-C ports, uh, a power button, and then a status LED to give you how much battery life is left on this. We don't really know much more about this, but you can probably guess that when you pre-order your Galaxy S23 Ultra, you'll probably be able to get this as one of the free pre-order gifts. Next up, we've been talking about the Galaxy S23 Ultra camera and how it's maybe not going to be the absolute best and maybe not a huge jump off point compared to where we are with the S22 Ultra, but is anything gonna be improved with it? Well, from Ice Universe, his opinion is, yes, there'll be some things that are improved. He's saying exclusive analysis where the S23 Ultra deserves attention. 200 megapixel camera offers more natural details and less noise. Night mode photos have greatly improved. The details of the 12 megapixel photos in daily mode are improved and the color seems to be different. He also says that the 10X telephoto sharpness is improved, followed by subtle changes of 20X, 30X, and even 100X. AI plays more roles in telephoto, such as repairing some lines, numbers, and letters to make them look even more natural, which is always cool, especially if we're gonna zoom in a lot. And he says, let me think again, but you know, some nice improvements right there. Obviously, they might not be massive, huge jumps and gains over the previous generation, but they are improvements nonetheless. And then lastly, he put out another tweet here showing S22, 240 hertz, iPhone 14 Pro, 240 hertz, Vivo X90, Pro Plus, 1440 hertz, and the Vivo X90 at 2160 hertz. Now, the larger the number, the more light and thing you're gonna get and less um, of this that you're gonna see on the screen where you see those, you know, basically when it's as low as it can go on the brightness, sometimes you'll see these waves going back and forth on the screen. You'll see that less as that number is bigger, meaning that Samsung and Apple aren't giving us everything that they potentially could, but some of these Chinese manufacturers such as Vivo are. So it's something to know that, you know, potentially brightness may, plays a big part with how dim you can make it and how those wavy lines will show and not show and that the Chinese manufacturers are giving you more for your dollar versus what Samsung and Apple are giving. Thanks for watching, guys. Your question of the day is, what's the thing you would like to see improved the most on the S23 Ultra? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.